What's up guys, my name is Susie and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today we're going to be talking about the La Liga League player. It is Luis Mila. He's a CDM. It's a decent card, very well rounded. Let's have a look at some of the objectives first before we jump straight into a team that you can use and the players that I would suggest a lot quicker. So the minimum it's going to take you to do is 10 games because you need to win 10 matches using only La Liga players. It's all in manager or masterpiece mode, the same as Reese Oxford. Uh, you need to score 30 goals and assist 20, um, so that should come easily with scoring the 30. Um, pretty much you should get that done within the 10, maybe 15 games. I'd estimate for some people this may take 20 though. Uh, you need to assist with the through ball using La Liga players and five separate. So again, those are pretty standard for, for most goals anyway, so you should get those quite easily. This is the difficulty though, you do need to score outside the box goals. So essentially, once someone's got that, they're going to be staying in. There won't be a lot of golden goal in this, I don't imagine. Um, and a lot of people will probably be letting you score outside the box goals so that they can score them as well, because this is going to be a genuinely painful grind to get that done. But let's have a look at the requirements and then the team to get this done a little bit quicker and help you out at least with building the team. So the requirements of managerial master speed mode, maximum 77 rated squad, only one 88 plus player, one lone player max, and you can't use any silvers. It has to be all golds in your bench and your team. So let's jump straight to the team that I've built to help you out. As you can see, this is a 77 rated squad. Uh, the maximum rating I believe you can get in terms of this squad is if we add one 77 player over this 76, it keeps it at 77. But if we go any higher than that, then it will tip it over to the 78 rating. So you can top up the points on there and make sure that you've got your rating and hopefully make it work. But what I've done is included a load of OP low rated players as well as some slightly more higher rated players that you can use, which will be really helpful for this mode. Um, so essentially, uh, the higher rated players that I've got in there at the moment are, of course, Dembele. Uh, we've got Inaki in there, we've got Morales, and we've got Vinicius. Those are all slight luxuries. They're a little bit higher rated than the 77, but I think they are key players to get into the team. Um, in terms of the other players, we've got a couple of them on the bench here. If you're looking for a super low rate, it's Cam. You've got Danny Rodriguez. He has decent pace, dribbling, shooting, and passing, all at a 75 rating. Uh, we've got Junior, who's got 87 pace for that left mid option as well. Uh, and then one of the centre backs, we've got Mingueza. He's got 78 pace, 75 defending, and 75 physical. The only issue with him is he is high, medium, but he's six foot tall. Decent enough centre back. Um, in terms of the other centre backs here, we've got Edin Militao, again, a more of a luxury player that you could get in there if you bring some of the rating down from other places. Rodrigo, uh, a decent right mid option. Uh, Salvi Sanchez has a slightly lower rated right mid option, but still with really decent pace and good enough dribbling and passing. Uh, for your left wing option, I would be going with Ansu Fati. That's who I had in there uh, before I put Vinicius in for the, the slightly higher rating. And as a lower rated striker, you've got Suarez here. He's got 86 pace, 78 shooting, 74 dribbling and 79 physical. Really well rounded 77 card here. Uh, I actually move him across so that you can see those stats because I am obviously hiding it with the face cam. Um, in the team, though, however, we actually have Luis Mila himself. He is very well-rounded. All of his stats are above 70. Uh, we've also got Malsa in here, who is a very more, more defensive central midfielder, not so much with the shooting, but very well-rounded again. Lowest stat being the 63 shooting, everything else above 70. Um, as we go through the back four here, we've got... Uh, We've got Adria Pedrosa, who's got really, really decent pace at 89. Decent enough defending and physical. The two centre-backs we've gone for are Ruben Vezo, 75 pace, 77 defending and 77 physical. The key stats that matter. And then Araujo, who's got 77 pace, 79 defending and 76 physical. I think you'll see a lot of him, mainly because he's six foot four with that decent pace and low rating. Uh, in golf, we've gone for Dituro, mainly because he's six foot three and does a job at 75 rated. Um, and then obviously you know enough about Anarchy Williams now. You probably see a lot of that Anarchy card as you can get the 84 Anarchy in here quite comfortably. Uh, Morales, I think, is just a fantastic card though. Fantastic option. He's four star, four star and high medium with brilliant pace shooting and dribbling. So definitely make sure you use him. Um, Anarchy's standard card will do a job for you. But basically, these are all the players that I could find that I think are very much viable for this team. And uh, then if you have your higher rated players, you can rely on some of these lower ones that I've given you as an option to bring that rating down and still keep yourself under the 77 rating bracket. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to me, you can. Make sure to check me out on all the socials, especially TikTok. My name's Sophie, and I'll see you guys later.